content and today in this PSD 2018 paper 2 question series I'll be going through question 14. In my channel I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay so let's jump straight into question 14. Okay okay so this over here is question 14 and this question is testing us on percentage ratio and working backwards. Okay let's read the question first for part A. Anne had a total of 285 red and blue beads. She used 45 red beads and 40% of the blue beads. After that, the ratio of the number of red beads to the blue beads and had was 1 is to 3. <clears throat> Part A. What fraction of a blue beads did Anne use? Give your answer in the simplest form. Okay, now that we've read the question for Part A, let's highlight the key information. So Anne had a total of 285 red and blue beads. She used, look, a fraction of her blue beads did and use. So this sentence is really important. She used 45 red beads and 40% of the blue beads. Okay, we know that percentage and fraction is interchangeable. So basically, it will be really easy to find because 40%, if we change it into a fraction, it's 40 over 100 and we just need to simplify it because they're telling us to give the answer in the simplest form. So that's basically the answer. And then they're telling that after that, the ratio of the number of red beads to blue beads and head was 1 is to 3. So this is the left after using. And this is used. Okay. So for part A, I just need to find for 40%, which is 40 over 100. After that, we need to we need to find the 40%. We need to simplify it. It will give me 40 over 100, which is 2 over 5. So 2 over 5 is the answer for part A. Now, let's move on to part B. Okay, so let's read for part B first. So how many beads did N have in the end? So they're asking us the number of beads in the end. So in the end, is basically 1 is to 3, right? So it's basically 4 units, okay? So for part B, I'm going to find for left the ratio, okay? So red is to blue, the left is 1 is to 3. So this is basically in the end. So it is 4 units, okay? So after that, I'm going to add whatever they use. So 45 red and 40% of the blue beads. So if I'm adding 40% of the blue beads here, right, that means that 3 units is supposed to be actually 60%. Okay? So 60% plus 40% is 100%, right? So we know that 3 units is 60%. So if 3 units is 60%, we know that 20% is 1 unit. So in order to find 100%, I'm just going to take 100 divided by 20, so it is 5 units. Okay, so it is 1 unit plus 45 is to 5 units. We know that, um, so 1 unit is basically like algebra, okay? It's an algebraic expression, but algebra and whole numbers cannot mix. So that is why it just remains like this. And this is 5 units. And after that, we know that the total is 285, right? So this 1 unit plus 4 units plus 5 units is 285. So for part B, 1 unit plus 45 plus 5 units is equal to 6 units plus 45. So 6 units plus 45 is equal to 285. After that, we need to use our skills on solving equations by taking 6 units is equal to 285. And then we bring the 45 over. Okay. We bring the 45 over to this side. And this plus sign will also change it to minus sign. So it becomes minus 45. Okay? So this is what happened. Okay. So after that, we know that 6 unit is 285 minus 45, right? Which is 240. So now we find 1 unit. So 1 unit is 240 divided by 6, which is 40. Okay, we need to find at the end, right? At the end is actually 1 unit plus 3 units, which is 4 units. So we just need to find 4 units. So it's really simple. So 4 units is basically 40 times 4. 
Okay, this 40 times 4, which is 160. And 160 is the answer for part B for question 14. Okay, so I hope you understand my explanation for this question, question 14, and for part A and part B. And I hope you understand my explanation. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!